Flying IFR without a co-pilot is a lonely business, and it's not without additional risk. About 35 instrument pilots bite the dust every year while operating solo IFR in actual weather. That's a pretty big number in relation to the amount of hours flown IFR in instrument meteorological conditions by solo pilots. What we're going to do here is examine ways to manage the risks that other pilots have learned about the hard way. I think the first thing we have to acknowledge is the big advantage held by two crew IFR operations. The safety record there is a lot better, many times better. And the better record has a lot more to do with pilots than with equipment. What this suggests is that the more we can emulate crude operations while doing it solo, the better off we are. An important first step is related to preparation. With two pilots, you have checks and double checks. With one, all you can have is a methodical approach. No rushing, in other words. I know that there are times when all the things that have to happen before we launch IFR create some amount of pressure. This has to be dealt with because any pre-flight action that is not done and not done well can lead to a distraction after takeoff. And distractions can be lethal. That is much more true for a pilot operating alone than for a crew of two. Pre-flight action also embraces the equipment in the airplane. Anything there that we do not fully understand can also be a distraction. Launching into clouds with a GPS or autopilot that you don't know like the back of your hand can be a huge distraction. This is stuff to study and study carefully on the ground. Then it should be practiced in flight in good conditions and with another pilot along to look out for other traffic. Do everything, too. Practice approaches and missed approaches. Practice using GPS like a VOR to intercept airways and radials. Practice using the autopilot. Practice putting it all together. One of the loneliest moments when flying IFR alone is right after takeoff. Even if everything was done to perfection before takeoff, the sounds and sensations as the airplane enters clouds are, well, different. It is a time when we must concentrate on the basics of flight and be super aware of what is going on and what has to happen next and what has to happen after that and after that. 